Um, I feel good about it. I mean, it's a step in the right direction. It's really only been my second meet. Um, I think I took like 18 months away from competition. So, um, I don't really know what to expect. I think for me, it's really about just continuing to put one foot in front of the other and trying to see some progress. So, I'm really happy with it. It's my first time in a while racing three days in a row prelims finals so you know you got to take your small victories and wins and um yeah it's, it's fun to be back out here so i'm really enjoying it Olympic superstar Simone Manuel is back in the pool racing for the first time since Tokyo. Yeah, so when I got back from Tokyo, uh, I went to the doctor and I wasn't allowed the possibility to be cleared until January. So um, it was a long kind of uh, diagnosis in terms of like the break that I had to take. Um, not just away from the pool, but I couldn't do any physical activity. And so it was just like a tough time in my life to really uh, be away from swimming, when it brought me so much peace, even though it was such a hard time at the Olympics. But um, I had to find other outlets, and I think a lot of it really was depending on my family and friends. Like, I got to spend a lot of time at home, and I think that really helped me reset. Um, I had a lot of sessions with my sports psychologist, and that helped me reset, and really just tried to figure out what I wanted my swimming career to be, um, and also just grieve the experience that I had, you know, over the past couple months before leading to Tokyo. and. Um, I'm still working on it. it. It's a hard process. I think sometimes coming to these meets, it's really hard to like look at my times and know what like my best times are and feel like at times I'm far away. But it's really nice to also put things in perspective. And I have an awesome group around me. Like they continue to encourage me. So I couldn't ask for a better support system, not only out of the pool, but in the pool. So when Simone said she had to take it easy until January. I couldn't, I couldn't even go like walk. Like I, like, go for a 20 minute walk. Like I couldn't do anything that could get my heart rate up. What? Yeah, bedridden, low key, like just around the house, like sit outside on the patio. This was Simone's post Olympic come down. The doctor felt like it was the best thing to help reset my body because it was such, it was in such a bad state. It was in survival mode. For someone used to swimming every single day, that has to be mentally challenging. How did Simone spend her time? So I spent a lot of time on Candy Crush. Uh, <laughs> I downloaded Candy Crush like at Olympic training camp and I got up pretty high in there. Um, as I mentioned, I spent time with my family and friends. I went back to California and spent time with my boyfriend. We went to a couple concerts. Um, I'm a big foodie, so we went and tried new restaurants. Um, I wish I did a little bit more like reading or things like that, but um, just kind of relaxed, spent time watching TV, um, continuing to, to connect with the ones I love. And like I said, I spent a lot of time um, talking with my sports psychologist and really figuring out what my next move was because um, I, I don't think there was a point where I felt like I wasn't going to come back but there also was a point where I was like I don't need to and I don't have to and so I had to like really figure out like if I move forward how am I going to do this um, in the happiest and healthiest way. What did Simone's return to training look like when she was finally cleared to swim? When I made the decision that I wanted to go to ASU, um, Bob had a plan. Well, this was before I, I made the decision, but I asked all the coaches that I talked to, like, what, how would you integrate me into this swim season? But um, once I made the decision, he wanted me to do three swim practices a week. So I just swam Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I did lifting Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So I only did one form of exercise a day to allow my body a chance to recover, um, I've been using like a lot of data, like the Whoop and the Aura, to like see where my heart rate and HRV is in my sleep. And um, really it was just about like small incremental increases in my training. And then once I finally got to Arizona in August and then we really started swimming in September, then I started swimming every day, just singles. I did singles for a while until we felt like I could do one double and then we got to two doubles. And I actually started my third double last week. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's still challenging. I still don't think I'm 100% there, but it does feel good to know that I think I'm ready and that also that um, Bob and Herbie think I'm ready as well. What's been the key for Simone 
now that she's back in the pool. Focusing on progress, that's really kind of been like my word for the year is progress over perfection. Um, I'm a huge perfectionist, but I think that through this experience, it's really about just getting better. Um, and some of that obviously does come with trying to make things perfect, but it's just about, you know, dropping time, getting better at practice, um, managing my recovery better. That's a huge thing for me at this point. Um, and just being happy and having fun with it. Um, it's a different experience to like come to these meets and like in my head know I'm not like gonna have the possibility of winning. Um, and um, I don't know, it's just, it's a different experience and a different perspective to take into the pool of just like I really get to swim and um, just kind of have fun doing it. How has ASU's massive pro group and their coaching staff impacted Simone's new outlook on the sport? I think with the coaches we have a great amount of communication and uh, I think what's so great is they don't put any pressure on me. I think they help keep things in perspective because um, this journey can actually be really frustrating um, to kind of start back at the bottom and, and try to move your way up, especially when USA Swimming is so competitive. And then, you know, in your mind, you think about, okay, I have to beat people in the USA, but I also have to beat people internationally. So it's a lot to, ta it's like an uphill battle. And what they've allowed me to do is not think of the uphill battle, just think about where I am and how I can make myself better. And, um, the encouragement from my teammates has been just spectacular. I think um, they notice when I'm not having a good day or they notice when I get down on myself and they have continued to tell me that like, you're doing what you need to do, it's gonna come in due time. And I think that's really awesome to have a group of people that genuinely want to see you happy and genuinely, genuinely want to see you perform well, but also just, I feel like they have a general understanding of what I'm going through. Um, which is good. It's. I feel like sometimes you can be around people who are kind of detached from your your own experience, and I think it's awesome that they're willing to understand the process that I'm taking and continue to continue to uplift me through it.